Hello, welcome to another Puzzling Time video. Now recently I've managed to pick up quite a few uh, slide puzzles, some uh, Minoa puzzles, uh, but also I've managed to pick up a couple of mind puzzles and I just want to show you those today. Uh, just to show you um, what these puzzles are, if you come across them, and uh, why I think it's good for you to pick them up. So this was um, a, a puzzle called Labyrinth 88 uh, from 2000 and five is actually the 2008 version it was produced so if we open this um this up uh, first thing we see is there's actually a number of um challenges there's a 64 move challenge there's a 78 move an 88 move challenge so there's three different challenges uh, with this um i i completed them all i really do like a slide puzzle and i'll sit down and i'll work through um, all of these puzzles. I'm not going to give you anything away about the um, the solve or the solution for this. Um, it's it's up to you to try. Uh, but this kind of puzzle, if you get hold of it, you would set it up in the uh, configuration you want. So we're we're set up here in this uh, 88 move position, and we have two discs. So get those two discs out. We have a a red disc, which is actually really pink. And a green disc, which is kind of a luminous green. Let's just make sure I've got the orientation of all the pieces correct. And the green goes in here and the red goes in there. And the actual puzzle, um, it, it's quite simple. It's just to swap the position of these two counters, the green and uh, the red. Now, I don't believe I've solved this with the minimum 88 moves required, but I do think I have solved it, you know, fairly close. So I must have made a few mistakes. Uh, after I solve a puzzle like this, I will tend to do it two or three times and then go back and just see, right, can I count to see how many moves I've made? Always remember with um, slide puzzles like this to count a move. So... Um, if, for example, I had this this piece here, and I move it down, that's one move. If I've got this red counter, even if I go up and across, that's still counted as one move. So it's one continuous motion of a single piece. Uh, if I were to move them both down, I can't just go one move like that. It's one, two. Um, so that's how you count moves. Um, Quite hard to get hold of these mind puzzles. Uh, this is Labyrinth 88. Uh, when they do come up, try and get hold of one. Um, it's just laser cut um, uh, uh, plywood, I guess, uh, MDF. Um, MDF, laser cut. Uh, but it's really nice, nice etching, uh, very clear instructions, comes in a nice box. Um, I was really happy to, to uh, manage to, to pick that up because um, it's one that I don't see very often and, and I was hoping to, um, to collect a few more of these. The other mind puzzle I picked up was this one, which is called uh, Dog and Balls. Um, and again, this is the, um, the, the 2008 version, I think. I do have at the bottom of this the full color solution. Um, doesn't give the date on it. Don't need solutions anyway. Let's make sure. Um, and this one again, a similar concept. You set the the pieces up. So this time we have the dog piece. We have this sliding kind of shuttle, and then we've got three counters, which are actually classed as uh, green, red again, which is as we know pink, uh, and then this is a yellow counter but it's the same color as, as this one and the concept is just to switch the the red and the green around i've been after this puzzle for a while um i see it quite a bit i've seen some online kind of java versions that i've played and and quite often actually when you go online and you look at um like gifts of slide puzzles being solved this one um comes up quite often as being shown of how how the, to solve because um, it's really kind of nice how it moves around. It's, it's five pieces um, and it requires 
um, was it 71 moves to, to kind of solve. So it's a really intricate solve for so few pieces. Is to swap this green and this red piece around. Like I say, I've been after this for a while, so I was really happy to uh, pick up a copy. This is definitely one that's going to stay in my collection. Um, and I'll be able to kind of uh, take the puzzle parties and show friends, and it's a really good one to um, to try. Uh, nice concept, uh, nice design. Again, laser cut um, uh, MDF pieces. So if you get hold of a copy of this, or you may make a copy yourself even, it's well worth um, having to play. It's a really um, fun challenge. Don't think it's too difficult. I feel this one is a little bit easier than the Labyrinth. Um, and there's more challenges with the Labyrinth. Uh, but there are more pieces, so you, you'll, you'll expect that. Um, def definitely, though, uh, one to be recommended. So these two uh, puzzles I picked up recently, uh, and I recommend. So hope you've enjoyed that very short, quick review. Um, don't forget as well, we've got the uh, giveaway coming up for uh, Foldology. That's going to be uh, next week. So if you want to be in um, on that uh, giveaway, then check out last week's video. I'll link it at the end of this video. Uh, click on that and make sure that you've commented below uh, that video and you'll be um, involved in the giveaway. So until uh, next week, uh, I'll see you all. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.